Hello and welcome to our wonderful, super fun volcano project today. So, you guys have been learning about volcanoes and for this assignment you're going to need crayons in warm colours. Ooh, what are warm colours? Let's remember our colours on the colour wheel, red and yellow and orange and pink. Those are warm colours, colours that make us think of hot things. So volcanoes, there's a lot of hot stuff going on with a volcano, right? We've got lava that is hot, 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 hotter than the hottest fire you can imagine. Magma, hotter than the hottest fire you can imagine. And a lot of really hot stuff. So that is why we're going to use some warm colours. Then we've also got our cool colours. So remember, cool colours are our greens, blues and purples. So you're going to have your warm colour crayons. You're going to need these two sheets of green paper that you'll be getting in your art packs. You'll need a large piece of paper that, oops, that you're going to get in your art packs. And a smaller piece of paper like this that's been folded into four. Okay, so that, this is just ordinary office paper from home. You'll need a brush some very ordinary paints, and a jar of clean water. Let's get started. Right, I'm going to set aside all of the things that I'm going to be using, and we are going to begin. Right, this is going to be a crayon resist picture. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by putting in some clouds and I want you to draw some cloud shapes. Now you're not going to see anything because you're working with white crayon on white paper, but it doesn't matter. I want you to draw some cloud shapes where you think that you would see clouds. Okay, so I'm drawing my, my fluffy clouds kind of at the top of my paper like this. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take an orange and I'm going to sketch in the cone shape of one volcano like that. Don't worry if you make a mistake. You do, there's nothing to rub out. You just draw over it, right? Then I'm going to put the cone shape of another smaller volcano over here like that. And I'm going to start coloring these in with my crayon like this. It doesn't have to be perfect color in my two volcanoes like this. There we go. I'm just going to outline that a little bit better like that. Color those in like that. And I'm going to color in the other volcano that's to more towards the front like this. Okay, so I put down a little bit of orange for that. It doesn't have to be very neat. It's fine. Then I'm going to take a little bit of yellow and I'm going to make some rivers <clears throat> of lava running down the sides like this. And I'm even going to take a little bit of or more orange like this. And I'm going to take some red. I'm going to add in some red running down like this all down the side. There's lots and lots of lava running down the side. And then I'm going to make a giant river of lava running in the background behind these volcanoes. There's going to be a river of lava running like this. Look at that. And then I'm going to take a black crayon and I'm going to color in all around here, not too carefully, okay? Do you see I'm just sketching? Okay, guys, this is not finished yet. So this is just very sketchy how I'm coloring in with my black crayon over here in the front, like that. And I'm going to continue this a little bit over here as well, like this. I'm just going to shade that in a little bit like that and shade that in 
a little bit like that. And I'm going to make with white crayon, very carefully, I'm going to draw a cloud of ash coming out of my volcano like this and another cloud of ash coming out of the volcano on this side. So you have to look very carefully because you're drawing with white on white. Okay, so you're probably looking at this thinking, ew, what is this going to be? Now comes the fun part. We are going to take some paint. So you're going to wet your brush really, really well in the water. You're going to add a lot of water to your paint like this. And I'm going to start painting in where I've drawn with a crayon. And carefully like this. And you will see that the crayon and the paint do not mix. And as you go along, you're going to see your clouds and the things you did in the background appearing. Okay, so I'm just adding more paint like this. Oh, look at that. My clouds have just appeared. My ash clouds and the clouds in the sky have just appeared out of the paint. Look at that. So I want you to keep working. Paint it in all around like this until you have finished painting in this section. That looks really, really good. All right. Then we're going to take some black paint. I've got my black paint over here. And we're going to paint. We're going to do the same with the landscape over here. We're going to paint carefully. And notice that the crayon does not stick to the paint. I'm going to fill in all of these parts over here at the back. Like that. And even that section needs to be done. So I've got my two volcanoes and I'm going to go all the way here to the front. I need to fill this in. I'm going to paint this in like this. And you'll see that the paint does not stick to the crayon. All right. We're going to keep going with this all the way to the front. Okay, now you're going to take some brown paint and you're going to paint the volcanoes that you've drawn like this with your brown paint. There we go, taking care to paint those in really carefully and you'll see that the paint and the volcano does not stick. So the volcano lava, oops, that's coming down the side, is not sticking to the paint. So we're going to paint that in carefully like that. There we go. And I'm going to take some orange. I'm going to go over this river of lava at the back where there is any space, it's just going to paint it in and it doesn't stick to the crayon once again. All right, so I've got my two erupting volcanoes and I've got my clouds in the sky and I've got my background over there. So I'm just going to clean that part up there a little bit like that and like that. All right, now that is looking really, 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 really interesting. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the green. I'm going to set this aside over there to dry. And I'm going to take the green paper that I've given you. Okay, so you've got two pieces of green like this. And what you're going to do with this is you're going to take a pencil and you're going to draw some kind of vegetation. So you're just going to make a shape like this. And on this one, you're going to do the same. So I'm going to draw like bushes, kind of a shape like this. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this out. Like 
like this. Cutting, I'm cutting it really carefully like this. So you made a shape like kind of like bushes. And I'm going to just do this. And go all the way around. So I've got the one done. And I'm going to do the same with this one over here. I'm just going to cut this kind of shape out. Carefully like this. So they, they're somewhat different. So I've got this shape and I've got this shape. All right, I'm going to take my crayon. Remember, we're using warm and cool colors. So I'm going to use a cool color and I'm going to add in, I'm going to make this look kind of leafy. I'm just going to add some lines on this like this. And I'm going to make it look kind of leafy like this. So this is how I've decided to do mine, and you can do yours in a way that you would like to do it. Uh, maybe for this one, you can do kind of leave leafy things like this if you want. So I've made lots and lots of leaves like this. Over here, I'm going to make lots and lots of leaves like this. Okay. Then, to finish this very nicely, I'm actually going to take my paint. I'm going to take my paint palette like this, and I'm going to use some green. And I'm even going to paint a little bit on top of this. Do you see how I'm getting a really nice effect here once again? With my paint and my crayon, the crayon doesn't like the paint because oil and water don't mix. So I'm putting this in, dabbing it on because I want to make my vegetation. So there we go, I've done that. I'm even going to add a little bit of blue to this. Why not? I'm going to dab in a bit of blue to make like a bluey green. Okay, so that's that section done. Now you need to leave this to dry. Please guys, be patient. Set it aside to dry, and remember if you have pits, if you put this kind of thing on the floor, they just love to walk on it, so be careful with that. All right, so I've painted this in, and this is giving me a really interesting effect with my vegetation and my paper. It's looking lovely, really painterly. Look at that. I'm going to add a bit of blue in some places. You guys must decide how you want to do this. You can do any kind of thing for this. You can do palm trees if you want to, because you get volcanoes in all parts of the world. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this. Right, I'm going to set that to the side. So, now, you've set this aside to dry. Okay, I haven't dried mine because <laughs> I have to finish this demo, but you guys need to wait until this is dry. Then, what you do is this. You turn it over, okay, so you turn it over like this, and you fold it along the bottom edge, like that. Do you see what I've done? And you do the same for this one. You turn it over, and you fold up the bottom edge like this. So leave quite a lot of space over there. That's what you need to do. And now you're going to need some glue. And you're going to take your glue and put the whole lot of glue on the edge like this. And then you're going to move this along. And I'm going to glue this down in the front like this. And I'm going to take my other vegetation that I've made and I'm going to glue it, and you know you can even put it behind a little bit. Look at that, I'm going to put that behind. Oh, guys, look at that. I forgot to put glue on that, duh. Glue goes there. And I'm going to put this a little bit behind this. Look at that. Okay, so what happens in this picture and I'm just going to dab that little black blobby bit over there a little bit like that. Now what happens in this picture, and I'm going to dab that off my crayon a little bit like that. 
when I lift this up, when I lift this little white space I'm just going to fill in, when I flap this back, what do I see? Devastation from the volcano. So we have made a beautiful picture that shows everything about volcanoes. So on this piece of paper that you have here, so you're going to set this work to the side a little bit. And I want you to, okay, so you fold your paper like this into four, okay? And you're going to take a pair of scissors and you're going to cut out carefully a rectangle for yourself like this. So you've got these little rectangles. Then you're going to take a Sharpie or a marker and we're going to label these things. So we're going to write... I'm going to write lava. And what is the other word that we need? Cone. And what's the other word that we need? Slope. And what is the other word that we need? Ash cloud. So we've got these four things. And then I'm going to put glue on the back of all of these. Okay, like that. And I'm going to put that over there. In fact, I'm going to cut this one a little bit smaller. It's a bit big. You can cut them down a little bit. But you're going to be labeling. So where is the cone? It's this top part of a volcano. The slope is the side of the volcano. All volcanoes look like this. A very steep slope on the side. You're going to label your slope. Then, coming out the top, <coughs> excuse me, is an ash cloud that you drew. You're going to label your ash cloud. And then all of this stuff, row, coming streaming down the side of your volcano which you're going to label all of this over here you decide where you want to label this and that is lava and then remember that inside the volcano we have all of that hot rock who can remember what that's called it's called magma so you've got the magma inside inside of this okay so let's have a look at this beautiful thing that you guys have made so what can we see from this? We can see two volcanoes. There are two cones. They've got very steep slopes going up. We've got normal clouds in the sky. Then we've got the ash cloud that comes out. Usually when the ash cloud starts to come, they will warn the people to get away because a volcano is a very, very dangerous thing. When there's a volcanic eruption, the ash cloud comes out and this is real ash because there's hot, hot fire burning inside from the magma. And the ash cloud comes out and the ash falls on everything around the volcano. So if we lift this up, we can just see ash, gray ash that has covered everything beneath the volcano. So over here, I'm pretending that I'm a person that's looking through the bushes and it's only here in the distance that there's anything green left. Okay, see how far it goes. It's called volcanic destruction. So everything in the path of the ash cloud is covered in gray ash and there are rivers of melted lava that are really, really hot, running and boiling through this valley. And so nobody can be here. And we have done a beautiful picture of what happens when a volcano blows. Very exciting. I hope you guys had fun and I can't wait to see your beautiful projects.